Hey guys, Ruby here. So, as you may or may not know, Flight Rising has something that's called an elemental holiday. For every month of the year aside from December, and for each elemental holiday, the staff holds what is called a skin contest, where the artists of Flight Rising can submit their own skin designs and the winners of the contest will have their designs turned into official skin items for the site itself. While I'm sure everyone who's participated in an elemental holiday on Flight Rising already knows about these holiday skins, I haven't really seen any videos targeted towards artists or newcomers to give them advice on how to get started or participate in these holiday skin contests. So I decided I would make my own video discussing some of my rules of thumb when participating in the elemental holiday skin contests. Before we begin, this video assumes that you already have a basic understanding of what skins and accents are and how to make them. If people want me to do a separate video on how to get started on making skins and accents in general, I might do it in a later video, but this video assumes that you've already gotten all the basics down. In addition, I would like to preface all my tips and tricks by saying that these are just tricks that I have found personally useful for myself. I have been participating in the skin contests since early 2019, so for about a year and a half now, and I have seven winning entries as of me making this video. However, depending on your skills and experiences as an artist, these trips may or may not apply to you. These tips are just what I have found personally helpful and I highly suggest all my viewers decide for themselves whether these tips and tricks are useful to them and whether they apply to you personally. So with that out of the way, let's get started with my tips and tricks for participating in Flight Rising's skin contests. So the first tip I have for people participating in Flight Rising skin contests should be self-explanatory, but it surprisingly isn't because I still see a lot of people complaining about this in the forum posts talking about the skin contests and that is to always participate. If you want to win a skin contest, then always participate in every skin contest. Occasionally, I still see artists talking about how they get discouraged from participating in skin contests because they never win. And I really only have one thing to say about this. Yes, while it is true that you might not win if you participated, but guess what? If you don't participate, then it is certain that you will not win. If you really wanted to win a skin contest, then you shouldn't let one loss discourage you from participating in future skin contests. Instead, you should treat this as an opportunity to better yourself. Revisit your skin and pick out some things that you would do better if you were to participate in another contest again, be it the shading, the use of colors, or the line art, anything. Just pick out one or two aspects you would do differently, and the next time you participate, you will produce a better product if you kept those areas of improvement in mind. If you really want to, you can also look at the winning entries see one that you really like, then try to incorporate that into your next entry. See an entry that you think you could do better, then keep that in mind and avoid, and avoid making that mistake in your next entry. I don't want to say that the feeling of being saddened and being disheartened by losing isn't valid, but you should also learn how to pick yourself back up after losing a contest in order to better prepare yourself for the next one. Moving on, my second tip for participating in a skin contest might sound a bit contradictory to my first one, but my advice to artists making skins for a skin contest specifically is to not spend too much time on your entries. If you are making a skin solely for the sake of submitting it as an entry for Flight Rising skin contest, then it is unwise to spend weeks or even months in advance just to finish that contest entry. This is because unlike commissions, there is no guarantee that you will be compensated for your time. You might have spent months and months 
perfecting your skin and making sure that all the details are perfect and in order. But if the staff don't like your skin entry, you will not get picked and you will not get the gems and the skin blueprints for winning the skin contest. A valid point can be made that if your contest entry doesn't win, you can always just print it yourself to make back the money, make back the time that you spend on it. But at the same time, those hours that you've spent working on your skin contest entry could have been spent on doing actual custom skins where you can do skins or accents that don't necessarily have to be confined to the theme of the elemental holidays. Even as it is, I personally don't think that the, the gems and the skin blueprints associated with winning the skin contest are enough compensation for the time you spent on your entry. I mean, yes, the 2K gems and the 5 copy skin blueprint are nice to have, but that's a lot less than what many artists on Flight Rising earn from doing a custom skin for other people. Hence, I would suggest treating skin contests as an opportunity to get exposure as an artist on Flight Rising or as a way to kickstart your own skin or accent shop, since your skin will be made available to the entirety of the Flight Rising community if it gets picked. In fact, some of my commissions have also been from other Flight Rising users seeing and liking my skins and then decided to commission me for art or other custom skins. Even if your skin doesn't win, many people still browse the submission thread for contests, so you can still get a decent amount of exposure if enough people like your submission. In short, please don't spend too much time on your submission because it is not certain that you will be compensated for your time and it is better to treat Flight Rising Skin Contest as a mean for exposure to get your name out there or to advertise your own skin and accent shops. Alright, moving from my second tip, I'd like to remind all my viewers that once again these tips and tricks are just what I have found helpful for myself. I don't really know my viewers' experiences or skill level as artists, so these might not apply to you personally, so please, please determine for yourselves if these tips are applicable to you. As my third tip regarding Flight Rising skin contest is, don't do skins for popular breeds and don't do skins for breeds which the current festival is for. The reason why I have this tip for myself is because I consider myself a mediocre artist, uh, probably sl slightly below average, and trust me, I will not be able to square up to the top 1% of artists on Flight Rising. And since popular breeds are popular because more people like them, the chances of a better artist submitting a skin for a popular breed is much greater than a less popular one. And since the staff will only pick two winning skins or accents of the same breed, statistically, your skin will have to be more appealing than more entries for popular dragon breeds such as Kotals and Skydancers than if you just decided to do, to do a skin for a less popular breed instead. Likewise, many people will rush to do skins for breeds which the current elemental holiday is for, hence it is also better not to do skins for those breeds either. Um, if you don't feel confident enough to compete with many other artists. For example, I would avoid doing skins for Guardians during the Water Holiday, and I would avoid doing skins for Phase during Arcane's Holiday. With this in mind, it will also be more important to learn which element the different breeds of dragons on Flight Rising originated from. Obviously, if you are part of the 1% of artists on Flight Rising, this tip would not apply to you. That's okay. Like I said, these are just tips and tricks that I personally find helpful, which is why they might not apply to everyone. Thus, I would suggest each viewer to determine on their own whether if each of these tips apply to themselves as an artist before applying them. All right. With that said, we've come to my final piece of advice, which I personally believe attributes the most to my winning entries for Flight Rising skin, uh, skin contests, and that is the concept for your skin is greater 
than the execution of the skin. In other words, your skin does not need to be the best, does not need to have the best art in order to win as long as the concept itself stands out. So for this tip, I will use one of my own skins as an example. So if I were to ask you to come up with a design for a skin for Lightning's Elemental Holiday, what kind of concept or idea would you come up with? Probably something that has electricity in it. Um, maybe it will include some kind of circuitry in it. You might even add some machinery powered by electricity just to spice it up. And while all of those are all valid concepts and ideas for a lightning themed contest entry. Have you ever thought about designing a skin for a gamer girl dragon? That's right. For lightning's 2020 skin contest, I designed a skin based on the concept of gamer girls and my entry ended up being one of the ones that got picked by the staff as a winning entry. It's, um, it's very obvious that my design doesn't have the best execution in terms of art. In fact, I actually got a ping telling me how shit my choice of color palette was for this entry specifically. But my point still stands. Everyone has seen plenty of skins based around electricity or circuitry or machinery when the lightning flight is concerned. But when was the last time that lightning had a skin that's based on the idea of gamer girls? While the skill level of your art is undoubtedly important. I find that many people often neglect to put their own unique twists on the elemental holidays while working on their skins to make their entries truly stand out. Before you work on your skin, always brainstorm and see if you can find ways to expand or subvert the themes of the current elemental holiday before you work on your skin as I believe that will give you the biggest chance of having your entries to be picked as a winning one. With that, this concludes my personal tips and tricks for people who plan on participating in Flight Rising skin contests. Are there anything that you think I missed or disagree with? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. And I'll be seeing you in the next one, whenever that may be. See ya!